Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Machine Learning Milan. Uh, thanks for joining us today. In this meetup, we're going to talk about image to image translation using cycle GAN. I hope everyone is aware of GANs, or what GANs are, how GANs are trained. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, image to image translation using cycle GAN, uh, taking the data set called Selfie to Hanami uh, in PyTorch. We call it in PyTorch. First, I'm going to tell you what image to image translation is. Uh, then, I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about like how what are the other what are the ways to solve this problem then I'm going to jump into what cycle GAN is then we're going to code that in PyTorch uh, yeah let's get let's get started uh, the image image translation means translating images from one domain to another domain so for example we see apples apples to oranges zebra to horses winter to summer cat to dog and iPhone photo to DSLR photo. So the, the, the task of taking images from, a set of images from one domain and uh, translating or transform, transforming them into another domain uh, by maintaining the same style or characteristics. So, uh, so this is another example for faces, human faces. So there are two different kind of things here. One is like, uh, we talk about like local level changes. So th this is an example for local level changes. So we take one phase and we transform them into an another uh, phase by changing local attributes. For example, here beard and no beard, young, old, uh, and blonde, blonde hair, brown hair, like that. So in this task, we only uh, we are required to only do local local changes, not like high level changes. Like this is another example. For uh, th this is an example for global level changes. In this example, we're gonna have to take we're gonna have to take every pixel into consideration. Uh, we're gonna have to change every pixel. Uh, similarly, like this. So there are actually two ways to achieve this task. Uh, the first, uh, like since we are into machine learning, we we are already familiar with the supervised way. But in this task, supervised way we really don't follow because this way requires label data set which means uh, in a set of images from domain x from one domain and the corresponding labels for that domain so uh, in reality it's kind of really hard to get the corresponding labels corresponding images so we use unsupervised way that's what uh, cycle dan cycle can does solve this problem using unsupervised way only so in unsupervised way we don't we don't need to have corresponding labels we can have two different set of images one set like Selfies, another set is uh, enemies, like uh, otherwise one set is like uh, apples, another set is oranges, one set is zebra, other than horses. Uh, we can literally solve this problem without even having the uh, uh, corresponding labels. So this is an example like what pay, uh, what uh, how supervised uh, algorithm works, how unsupervised algorithm works. Paid means you have like XI, like input data, and the corresponding labels, corresponding output data. So which is kind of really hard to get it. So and in answer in unpaired why in unpaired way we don't need to have like you know corresponding labels. We literally can take a bunch of images and we can literally make it work. So I I, I don't want to touch what GANs are right now, but I'm gonna give you a, like high level idea. So a generative adjustment networks are like generative models which actually synthesize the input data. Uh, it has like two different networks, generator and discriminator. They compete with each other. Uh, at at some point, they found a they found a point like he, uh, Nash equilibrium. Then we can say that okay, the training of the can is is, is finished. So you, as you can see, generator takes the latent vector here, you know, some 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 kind of n-dimensional noise vector, and it produces a, a fake sample, uh, which is kind of similar to the real sample. Uh, and discriminator actually tries to uh, classify, uh, uh, trying to distinguish between the real images or real inputs and uh, fake inputs. Uh, here I'm just giving you notations like to just make you get familiar a bit. Uh, so uh, Z is a noise vector, Z of Z generators output, which gives the fake image, X training sample, X real, and D of X is the discriminator output for the X real, and D of Z of X is the discriminator output for the X fake. Uh, at discriminator, we want to increase the probability for the real image, and we want to decrease the probability score for the uh, fake image. So P of X should be maximized, and D of Z, uh, Z of Z should be minimized. 
at the generator we do the opposite at the generator we say that uh, d of z of z should also be maximized uh, we do this by just uh, you know just changing the label so uh, this is a uh, final function loss function in max game uh, I, I i don't I, I don't think i need to cover gans because i pre assume that you already have some idea about gans so i'm going to skip it so uh, in cycle gan we have two different uh, right now like we take two domains only we take two set of domains a domain x and domain y or uh, a or b so uh, cycle and uh, lens to translate from one domain to another domain in in an unsupervised way so for example like this here the uh, the entire horse is translated into a zebra so and also it also translate the zebra back to horse so it contains two set of images, which we all talk about, full set of horses, another set of full, set, full of zebras. So no order pairing. So there will be no corresponding uh, labels. So this is our data for today. Uh, we, if you observe the first four rows contain selfies and the uh, last four rows contain enemies. Uh, domain X selfies, domain Y enemies, or domain A selfies, domain B enemies. So uh, in cycle GAN, we have two different generators and two different discriminators, unlike GAN, which has only one discriminator and one generator. So Z of, Z of AB, A to B or AB, lends the mapping between A and B. Here A means selfie, B means enemy. And Z of, Z of BA lends the mapping between B and A. So the first generator actually translates from selfie to enemy. And the second generator translates uh, 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 lens to translate the image, uh, lens download between enemy to selfie. Uh, we have again two discriminators here. The first discriminator uh, tries to classify between actual selfie and the fake selfie produced by the second uh, generator BA, this one. Uh, and discriminator B actually tries to, try to distinguish between actual enemy and the fake enemy. Uh, generated by the first generator AB. So a new loss has been proposed in this paper called they call cycle loss. So it's like this. First a image goes to the first generator which produces the fake enemy and that fake enemy goes to the second generator which would ideally give the same image back. A. So the same thing for B as well. So for example here, selfie goes to the first generator, you get the fake enemy and the fake fake enemy should uh, again go, uh, go uh, goes to the second generator and you get the fake selfie but the fake selfie, there is a constraint here, the, the fake selfie should be same as the actual selfie. So that constraint they call like cycle loss. Uh, this is just an image for illustration purposes. So here I draw like you know a like real selfie goes to the first generator gives the fake and that goes to the second generator uh, gives the a as fake selfie ideally they should be same uh, here is the cycle uh, a con here is cycle constraints uh, loss comes here and th here there are three different loss functions used in this paper uh, first one is identity loss uh, I think I'm going to talk about identities later uh, uh, but if you're on to deep learning a bit probably you already know uh, I assume but I'll, I'll cover it like later so cycle cycle loss as we discussed before first the real a goes to the first generator gives the fake b which is the fake enemy and that fake enemy goes to the second generator here and gives the cycle a image ideally real a and cycle a should be same so we if it's not same then there's a loss so we just define with l1 loss same thing for b and we just add it up and divide by two so this is the uh, pytorch uh, code for only losses so it's the identity loss scan loss uh, cycle loss so we will we'll, we'll see that like as we uh, code all right so the total loss would be uh, you know uh, having all three losses with um, uh, i think uh, i think i forgot to have a capital parameters here but like put some hyper parameters yeah uh, let me go through the code and the first, uh, you see, this is just functions. Uh, make sure to install all of the function, uh, all of the libraries if you don't have. Uh, you can run this one in uh, 
Google Colab as well, but you might have to install this package. Uh, since I don't have the GPU, so this is going to run on CPU. Uh, this function is just to store the uh, labels. So I think uh, this this has nothing to do with the algorithm. So I'm just going to skip this one. You'll understand like why uh, why I did this one. Uh, and I declare some couple of parameters. We have the data set LP2 enemy. Let me show you the data set. Uh, Yeah, this is the data set. It has two folders, train and test. And the train, we have like two domains, A and B. A, like full of selfies. Uh, and B, enemies. So, uh, image size 256, you know. Uh, and this is for for creating a... Uh, Ba creating batches of inputs. Uh, if you're into PyTorch, I, I, you can pretty much understand this one. I'm not going to cover the entire PyTorch, only I'm going to show you the code that is required to understand what CycleGAN does. Uh, I'm just going to skip it, but high level, like I'm going to give you high level, which is like this. This is going to take images and uh, transform them and uh, give it like batch, batch files. So here we apply some transform uh, transformations, like we resize the image to like whatever height, uh, and you take the random crop. You know, you, you can add a bunch of stuff, and finally we normalize stuff. Uh, this is pretty normal stuff if you if you're using PyTorch already. And we have two different loaders: one for training, uh, another for testing. Uh, we have both sets of data, so the only difference is the small. Uh, I'm gonna run it, and here I just I just run a small a script to actually print the images. Uh, you, it's nothing magical here. Just take the values from the loader, uh, take the data from loader, and just print it. Uh, so this is our network generated network. Again, I'm not going to talk about like what, uh, how the network is formed, or what the network is all about. Uh, I think this is pretty much from the paper only. So uh, you can try different networks as well. It's, uh, I think uh, some of the networks really well, uh, some of them not. So uh, you can see, like initially, we have some convolution, a convolution box with some instant norm applied, uh, and we have like down sampling, another like number of two, two down, like two convolution layers, and we have some bridge build blocks which we mentioned above this one. So I'm not going to talk about the architecture, but I'm just giving you uh, uh, an idea. So, so that is for generator. And similar discriminator, this is very straightforward. It's, it's pretty easy. You have just a bunch of discriminator blocks, which are these, uh, which pretty much about like con con conversion layers, and uh, some of them have uh, instant normalization. So I'm just gonna run it, and we apply weights again. So here we define the two different networks. Uh, ZAB uh, takes selfies and converts them to enemies. ZBA takes uh, Enemies convert into selfies. Uh, discriminator as well. Um, we, we send them to the device. Okay. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, here I'm just taking an uh, some images to actually uh, you know, run this function, which just gives you the, a graph of the, uh, the network. So I think you can take a look at it later. So I'm, I'm going to define optimizers, two optimizers, add them. Uh, I'm going to define the loss functions. The first, in GAN, we use here MS, MSE loss, mean square loss. Uh, but you can use even cross entropy. Or, you know, uh, for a loss cycle, since we are actually comparing two images, we take the L1 loss of those two images. Uh, same for identity, we take L1 loss. Uh, this function, mostly for, uh, this is a PyTorch thing. Uh, just to uh, learn the parameters in the first place. So we can skip this one. Uh, this, these two blocks for bookkeeping, uh, the first one is, uh, you know, saving the images into one kind of big array. Uh, this, this function is just to, you know, keep, uh, bookkeep the information. Like. And this is where actual training happens, so I probably am going to have to focus on this part. Okay. See how, for like the data loader gives batch of images, whatever the batch size we mentioned here. So here we take two images, like two set, two uh, uh, two labels, uh, two images, sorry, two set of images, or 
I think if the bad size is on one, only one, one, one like two domain images, sorry, uh, real A and real B, which is like, uh, these are like uh, Im selfies and these are, these would be animes. And we create a labels, just like GANs, we create labels, uh, of valid labels, fake labels. So valid labels means all ones, uh, fake labels means all zero. So this, these, these labels, these two uh, variables are going to be used for uh, calculating the GAN loss. Uh, this code is a PyTorch thing to just, you know, train the parameters, hyperparameters. Uh, here, first we are training the uh, Z, like the actual generator. Uh, here we first define the identity loss. Uh, uh, I'm going to come back to identity loss later. First, let me talk about the GAN loss. In the GAN loss, uh, first uh, we take a real image, we pass to the first generator, which gives the fake B, which is enemies. And we take those enemies to, we pass it to the discriminator B. Here, observe this, here we give valid, so even though we're giving fake image, but we are telling the D that it's a real image. So I'm taking valid, which are ones, or full of ones. So, and you get some loss here. And similarly for the real B, we take the real B, which is real uh, enemies, and you get the fake A, which is fake selfies. And we pass the fake selfies to the uh, D and say that these are actually not fake, these are actual real values. So we calculate the gone, uh, sorry, we calculate the losses, both of them, and we say one final loss. We add them together and divide by two. And that's it, that's for the gain loss. And the cycle loss, of, just like we mentioned, we first take, let's say, fake B, which is like a uh, fake enemy, fake enemy, and we pass to the second network. Ideally, we should get the real image, the real selfie. So uh, here we call like recover, uh, recover underscore hey, recover selfie or something. Then uh, I just compare with the real hey and uh, re recover hey. So just think like this the real A goes here, that passes fake B. And that fake B goes right here, goes to second network, you get the recovery uh, and you calculate the loss here. Same thing for here, fake A. First you take the real B, if you pass to the second network, that gives the fake A, uh, that goes here, uh, then it, it goes here, then you get the recover B, then you calculate the loss for this one. And you calculate the total loss here. So identity loss is going to be used to preserve some information from the input. So which means first here, uh, this, this generator usually takes enemy as the input. But here we're giving the real selfie, not enemy. So it should, it should, produce, it should produce an image we should we should be identical, which means which which has to preserve some information from the real A. Similarly for the B as well. And uh, we we add them together and we calculate the final and the fi final total loss. The total loss for the Z would be a total GAN loss, and we we are just having some hyperparameters here, cycle lambda, uh, and these two. Uh, you can take a look at it, what these parameters are like down there. Some values, I, I'm not sure remember the values. Uh, yeah, these are. So I, I took it from Pepper directly. So you, you can try even a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, then we do backward and we separate the network. So then after this, we get the uh, gradients, we get the uh, actual weight will be changed in the network, uh, like the Z in the uh, like the Z network. Uh, similarly, we train the discriminator as well. And the discriminator first, we take the real images, we pass to the first discriminator, and we say this is valid because that's a real image. These are like real images, real labels now. Uh, here there is a catch. Here uh, this is where usually this line actually. Uh, for PyTorch thing, uh, actually PyTorch actually removes some of the variables. So what I did is I take a buffer and I, I push the fake A into the buffer and I pop the, those values there. So you can, you, if uh, if you don't understand this, like why do you need to do this, you can, I think right now you can ignore it, but you can try uh, later. But just assume that when you get, uh, you, you get this fake A from above only, just like here, so basically what you do is you uh, pass an uh, enemy 
to the second network which gives the fake a and that fake a you take it uh you 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 give it to the uh discriminator a and we label it as fake so for this line is pretty stable this line is okay and this for this line instead of taking the fake a from directly here we just actually store somewhere and, and pop it but you can assume that this and this is the same uh, if you don't understand it, it's okay to assume like that. So ideally, it's, it is the same. So, so we take these fake values, fake hair values, we label it fake. So just like uh, any other, uh, just like uh, the typical vanilla GAN training. And we calculate the loss, final loss would be fake loss plus real loss, and we divide it by two. Uh, and these two steps are common. Uh, similarly, we train the discriminator. So no change, the only change is the data. Uh, instead of taking the real A, which means sel images, selfies, we take the animes and we call them these are the uh, valid, like real animes. And also we we take the fake animes, which is fake B, and we tell the D, like, okay, these are the fake animes. So again, we calculate the loss and we train it. And at the end, we just keep, uh, like, you know, track some variables and logs and stuff like that. And this is just to again after one epoch uh, for, for every epoch you just uh, make sure your other parameters are updated and you this is to just save the uh, checkpoints so the uh, since I have a CPU system uh, it's gonna take a long time ideally if you have a GPU NVIDIA or an NVIDIA GPU it, it typically takes two to three days to train for 200 epochs uh, if you don't have a uh, if you don't have uh, the GPU, probably you can probably train in 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 Google Colab. But again, in Google Colab, also it might take two to three days. Uh, so I would say that you you can train this like uh, for for let's say continuously for five six hours and keep the models, uh, keep the checkpoints and train it again uh, with the, with those checkpoints. So you can see. So you can see that it it estimated like two twenty four days. I'm just gonna check it out. Uh, so uh, I already trained this on my GPU, so I'm going to provide the uh, uh, the checkpoints for every, uh, like I think I, I'm going to provide the checkpoints for 10th epoch or 25th, 50, 100, 150 and so on, so you can you can see what's happening. Uh, and also I've written the code for testing down there, so all you have to do is just change the, uh, like whatever uh, number, whatever epoch that you have the checkpoint and you can literally train it. So yeah, that's all. It this is really a short presentation. Uh, I feel like uh, uh, I hope you get some idea. I'm gonna share the code. I'm gonna share the all the uh, pretend models. Uh, yeah, I hope it helped a bit. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a testing. As I told you, just change these uh, labels. Change these values. Uh, you can you can play with it so let me know if you have any questions uh, I, I can probably answer you can connect with me via LinkedIn uh, my links are right there uh, or you can contact me on Twitter or LinkedIn whatever or otherwise you can just let me know uh, you know uh, maybe on YouTube if, if this gets uploaded on YouTube uh, if you have questions uh, any comments any kind of things you you didn't understand or you want to know why why I did that so let me know, I'll try to answer them. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you had a great day. I hope you learned a bit. So yeah, bye-bye.